This Justin, the National Union of Public Workers, is tonight sounding a clear warning to government that it is not taking lightly some public sector workers having to revert to their substantive posts. General Secretary of the Union, Dennis Clark, made the point earlier today during a meeting with public sector workers at the union's headquarters. He says they are looking to meet with the head of the civil service in short order to discuss the situation which has the potential to become quite explosive. We have um, discussed this with them and we have talked about um, ha having a look, having a meeting with um, the, the service commission or the head of the civil service to discuss it. We've looked at the, there could be some legal implication with respect to the whole reversion, which we will not state publicly what um, the possibilities are, but we are looking somewhat to see if there is any legal loophole or if the, our legal advisor will see with us in what we see as a legal loophole to deal with this matter. Barbados and the region taking another big step to safeguard against another Clico-style collapse and are responding to major scams emerging in recent time. Yesterday, the Financial Services Commission signed a memorandum of understanding with its counterparts in Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago, along with the Eastern Caribbean Securities Regulatory Commission, for the exchange of information, cooperation and consultation. During the signing at the headquarters in Warrens, Chairman Dr. Sir Frank Alling told the media the MOU will help to shore up investor confidence in the regional non-banking financial sector. Sir Frank says the commissions have no choice but to collaborate in this fashion with the types of scams and threats which have emerged over the last few years. Most of you know that scams, major scams have taken place across the world. Um, I need not mention anyone. This is not the time for but those scams could only have taken place because of a lack of due diligence. And in our sub-region, we, <clears throat> we have to do our best to ensure that the follow from these scams will become a thing of the past. The Barbados Manufacturers Association wants more small and medium-sized enterprises to participate in BMEX, but is aware that many cannot afford to do so. That's why Executive Director Bobby McKay says the BMA has been working with partners to meet some of the staging costs, which amount to over $500,000. She made the remarks at the Pure Ocean Restaurant during the recent launch of BMEX. People think it's easy. We subsidize a lot of SMEs. A lot of micro-businesses will never, ever, ever be able to come to BMAX without your support. These are companies who cannot afford to pay $2,000 for a book, not in a million years. Yet we have to pay over 150000 just for use of the building. That is not including anything else. So we really appreciate these partners. Here's a look now at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across the region.